So to get started on this project, I'm going to start out with my bowl. And again, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I want one that's taller, not shallow. Okay. I'm going to get some wet paper towels. And I'm going to put them inside the bowl. If you don't have paper towels, I mean, you could use paper, I guess. Um, I've never tried it, but I would think it would work okay. But um, usually with wet paper towels is they flatten down a little bit more and they're not so wrinkly. And that's why we use wet paper towels. And we want to keep a little moisture in there anyway. You need to make sure that you cover up all the surfaces of the bowl. And here's the reason why, is if you start putting clay in here and pressing it up against the, the walls of this bowl, and you don't have paper towel in there, it's not going to release. When you try to get it out, it's going to stick, and then you're going to have a, a terrible time getting it out. So now I've got my bowl ready to go. I need to make, um, make some coils to go inside this bowl. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get like a golf ball-sized ball piece of clay and roll it out into like a golf ball size, and I'm going to push it in the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to push it flat. Okay. So I've got it pushed down in here, and it's it's rather thin, okay? I would say more like, I don't know, maybe like uh, three-eighths of an inch, if you know what three-eighths of an inch is. Between a quarter and three-eighths of an inch thick would be good if you, if you know what that is, okay? Um, if not thicker than a pencil, but not a lot thicker. Okay, the next thing I want to do is get some clay, and I want to roll it out, okay? So I'm going to start rolling a coil by... Roll, I'm pushing and pushing out away from the coil here. I mean, from the, the sides. I'm going from the middle to the edges. So this is a pretty good size coil. And now look at it compared to a pencil. So you see it's bigger than a pencil, but it's not a lot bigger than a pencil. Okay, so that's about the size of the coil that you want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and push it into the bowl right up against that piece I put in there already. And I'm going to continue to just layer this coil on up. So we're using the bowl to create the sides of our um, pinch pot. Okay, so I'm going to get another piece of clay and notice I'm rolling and pushing it out. If you get it and it gets like oblong, like this, some people get it like this, and it gets oblong, they can't roll it, it doesn't round, roll. Just put it on its side and push it down so it's kind of square, and then start rolling. Usually it means if you get an oblong piece, you're not rolling through enough. You gotta roll it all the way through one total time. If you only roll it halfway, you're gonna get one that's kind of oblong. And if it gets too long, you can always just break it because you're going to put it together anyway. This one's kind of long, but be okay. Okay, so I'm just going to take it and continue. And I'm pushing it up against the sides of the bowl. If you've got a shallow bowl because you don't have a, a very tall bowl, you may have to make the coils up higher than the bowl. Okay, and um, if you have a taller bowl like mine, you could probably cut it off, cut off the um, coils at the very top, and it might be a little bit easier. And again, I'm trying to roll through. I want this to be a little thicker than a pencil. And then I just continue. That's pretty good. So take a look there. I've got it in there. I'm gonna press it in a little bit better. It's important that you really press it in. Okay, now what I have to do is I have to smooth it. I can, I can use lots of different tools for this. I can just use my hands if I want. Sometimes I like to use a spoon and I'll come in here with a spoon and I will start blending it together.
So after I blend it pretty good, you know, I like to spend just a few minutes like smoothing it a little bit better with my fingers or whatever works for you um, to smooth it up. You won't see a lot of this uh, because it'll be inside, but if you have like a, a pumpkin that has a big open area, you might see some of it. I can just cut this off of here even now. And I don't want to throw away this clay. This clay is still good, so don't throw it away. So what I want to do for this here is I want to take this whole bowl and I want to put it in my bag. Okay, the whole thing in my bag and zip it up. Zip up my bag and make sure it's in there and doesn't get dried. This has to be um, still plastic when we take it out. Okay, so it's important that it doesn't get dry. So if you think it's getting dry, you can take a couple more wet paper towels, not real wet ones, just kind of wet, and throw it over the top so you have wet paper towels over it. And then you put the whole thing inside your bag. Okay, the whole thing. And zip it up tight. Okay, make sure that it does not dry out for next time. So, for next time, here's what I want you to do, is I want you to see if you can get one of your bowls done. Okay, and get it to the point that I have it to, and then we will talk about getting it out and other things next time. <laughs>